welcome to another amazing episode of Trending. My name is Nancy Isime and I am your host. Today is such a beautiful day. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. If you're not, don't worry, it's going to get better. Now on this show, we bring you everything and everyone that is trending. Of course, you know it's trending, brought to you by Enter. Well guys, before we go into the business of the day, we're going to go on a short break, but I'll be right back to unveil who our guest is today. Welcome back, guys. On today's show, I have an entertainer, a rapper, and the number one finest DJ in Africa as we speak. I'm talking about no other but Jimmy Adewale Amu, <laughs> also known as a legendary co DJ Jimmy J. <laughs> What's up, there? I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm all right. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Good nice to, have to be you. here with you. I know, I know. It's so good to have you here. Yeah, now, so we're going to move straight to the next segment, which is called the Style Update Segment, okay. which you get to talk about what you're wearing All right, cool. and the inspiration behind it. Um, inspiration behind it, first of all, would be you. <laughs> really? I, know I was coming to see you, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you try, had to... Let me try and look good. Oh! Know, uh, so it's, I mean, pretty much it's just a casual you know, look, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I like wearing Converse a lot. I mean, okay. a lot of people that know me know that. Mm -hmm. I like black. Why? Well, because it's comfortable. They're very comfortable, mm -hmm. you know. They're they're timeless. You True. Know, they've been around like forever, forever, and they will be around for. Another <laughs> you know, so because years. I'm that kind of person that I just like to keep it grown, mm -hmm. simple, classy, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what that says. Yes, you what's know? up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it, with the waistcoat, definitely. Yeah. Classy as well. But I like how you actually able to balance red and black. Yeah. I like red and black a lot. Okay. You know, I mean, without a doubt, those would be my two you favorite, know, favorite colors. colors yeah. Wow. So wearing that on a day like this just makes me feel cool and yeah. cool about myself. Because like, that's how we do it on yeah, trendy. Yeah, we're cool we like do, that. You know how we do, you know. And plus, cool. I'm trying to, you know, catch up with <laughs> Sorry, your log, your <laughs> back hair, trust I'm me. I'm matching the lipstick. <laughs> and, <laughs> but yeah, like we're red and... The neck piece is all black, you know. Yeah. Feel me? And then we white. Look like, like white. a couple right now. We do look like a yeah. couple. Maybe we should go on a date. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go into the show proper. Yeah. Now, you started as um, your entertainment career yeah. as a rapper known mm. as Master J. <laughs> yeah, so, Master! Mm. So I don't know. You know. I actually started out as an aspiring rap artist. Um, I, you know, made demo tapes and all that as mm -hmm. Master J. Uh, Master J actually came out, you know, for me, looking back now, I stole it from somewhere. Really? Yeah, it was, right. um, you know, because I started listening to rap music, like, from day one. Okay. You know, there was this group, um, Sugar Hill Gang, and there used oh. to be Master G oh. in the group at the time. That was, like, the guy that was really, that, you know. <laughs> guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I just changed the G to J. <laughs> Like it's minor. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. It actually sounds good. And everybody around me is like, so people that have known me from way back, like mm -hmm. family, like you, friends from, you know, when I was really young, they yeah. call me Master J. So now, yeah. How does it make you feel, dude? Yeah, I mean, I'm used to it. That's, like, mean, my, that's like what my mom calls me. Oh, wow. Me, yeah. Well, don't you go, uh, please, I'm now the cool DJ no, 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 you know, I mean, I, I'm more comfortable. I mean, once people call me Master J, it says a lot. Oh, yeah. It says you've known me before. Way back. Yeah, you know, and true. that makes me more comfortable with you. True. So what yeah. made you transition to disc jockey? Um, failed rap career. <laughs> you know, but truly, really, I mean, I think it was a bit ahead of time at, that, at the time. Okay. You know, a lot of people will tell you, what's wrong with this one? You people want to, you think you're American. You know, mm -hmm. like the, 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 the scene at that time did not permit, Except yeah, you know, rap, you music. Rap, rap music, especially pure mm -hmm. rap music at the time. How know? long ago was this? Um, late 80s, I guess, wow. you know, so. You know, so pretty much, you know, I just started DJing and I got more comfortable with DJing, DJing. than, you know. Well, but, how would you? but from when I started DJing, I've always felt like, you know, that didn't go away. So I've always thought, okay, if I could, couldn't do it, I might as well pave the way for a lot of people you to be able to, to get into that. it. Yeah. And I mean, it's been 26 years. Did you yes. ever? You know, envision yourself to be where you are right now. When you I, started, when you started I started DJing in the meantime. At the time, I thought it was something I was just gonna do for Part a time. period mm -hmm. and then move on to. So I'm still DJing in the meantime. Okay. 
Okay. Hopefully, I move on to something else. What would you like to? What do you think you're going to move on to? <laughs> move on to, you know, being a proper DJ. You yeah. don't think you're a proper DJ right now? No, but being a better DJ, being, you know, there's always a, there's always a next level in everything you do. True. You know, so True. for me, I mean, um, just joking about being in it. Yes, because course, I think you're the highest for me, level. For me, it's just, you know, look at the next level, the mm -hmm. next opportunities and move on to it. You know, so, right, yeah. right. Because I think but you're I already DJing. up there. You love teaching. Yeah. Do you see yourself doing something else apart from teaching anytime soon? I do other things, I mean, but primarily I'm a teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, you're a multiple winner, award winner for 25 years now. Mm. That's how long you've been in the industry. And you're actually the industry's definition of consistency. Mm. Do I see your head swimming somewhere around <laughs> there? <laughs> How have you been able to manage all of these activities? Um, truly, to be honest with you, it's because I've, I've always felt like I've lured a lot of young people, other people into the profession, and you need to give them up. You know, so they constantly need to see you in front and okay, mm -hmm. so I can still move ahead, I can mm -hmm. still move ahead, I can still move ahead, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, if you, if you, if you're not there to really, you know, say that, a lot of young people will feel like, why am I getting into Don't this, you, oh, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. for me, it's important that you see that, you know. There's always a next stage. In yes, the next you understand what I'm saying, right. constantly. Yes, yeah. consistency, I feel, yeah. will take you everywhere. You know, and more so for me, I mean, I, I think one of the secret of being around for so long mm -hmm. is that you don't ever think you've arrived and you don't ever think you're on top of anything. Okay, I mean, once you've arrived, then you've arrived. I mean, there's nowhere else, else to, go. to go. True. You understand? But once you feel like you've not gotten there or you're not on top of it, mm -hmm. you know, you will aspire going. to, you know, the next level, the next level. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, you know, because I've seen a lot of artists, especially, yes. you know, with one or two songs and they think they're bigger than, you Life know, itself. Michael Jackson, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, and then, of course, once you see yourself like that, there's no room for growth anymore, sure. anymore you know, so, sure. Sure. really. Amazing. I'm sure a lot of people will learn from that. Now, so you actually dropped the new video. Um, mm word heat track or Nile. Yes. Yes. And um, tell us why the title Nile and why did you <laughs> choose to feature Idris, Idris Abdul Karim? All right, cool. Um, the song Nile was taken from uh, the album I dropped last year. It's okay. called The Industry. Mm -hmm. You know, has about 26 tracks on it, or 66 artists on it as well. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of the tracks. And working on that track, I felt uh, on that track per se, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, if I'm going to put on an album to you know, just, um, for, I mean, being in the industry for mm -hmm. 25 years, there must be songs that tells a story, you yeah, know, things, sure. that are, things that happen in the course of that 25 years. Mm -hmm. And one of the major things that happened was, of course, Idris, um, you know, standing up to authority to face some of the challenges. Yeah. You know, before now, and people don't understand these things, mm -hmm. a lot of times artists are enjoying a whole lot of benefits right now. Mm -hmm. But before, if you were a Nigerian artist, you're looked down on. Sure. You know, and some people fought that. So I felt mm -hmm. like this had to be brought into, I mean, to the fore. Yes. And Talk what about. better way to, you know, I mean, you get, you, you see people traveling right now. Every artist is insisting on business <laughs> class. And these were people that were not even being put on economy. They wow. probably traveled by road in those oh. days. And you have your foreign counterpart, uh, counterpart traveling Travel by air, business you know, class. Business, you understand what I'm saying? And wow. some person stood up for that, yeah. or some set of people stood up. So I just felt like that story had to be told mm -hmm. in case people don't remember. Exactly. You know? So um, that's, that informs that track with, it, uh, with Idris. Mm -hmm. Plus, of course, you look and say, Onile, Onile simply means, you know, landlord, area boy, Land now we are, this, we are the owner of this spot, you know? So really, I mean, without being, Without bragging, I mean, mm -hmm. if you put in that number of years mm -hmm. into an industry, mm -hmm. you might as I mean, if it's if it's um, a territory, you might you might have a claim to that territory. Sure, you know. Sure. So for us, it's just a case of saying, look, this entertainment industry, this music industry, yes. wherever it is, we, you know, some of us pretty much played a key. Mm -hmm. I mean, played major role in setting it all up. True. And uh, so you regard us as landlord in that territory. Yeah. So it's only like our only like Oh yes. So, yeah. Do you run a clothing line? Yes, I do. Um, clothing line, but for the head only. So <laughs> I have a snapback line. Yeah. Yes. You know, but we are. You know, we have um, plans to you know take it down. Really. You know, so it's gonna come all the way. All the you way know, down. There will be footwear. There will be jackets. There will be 
you know, pants is the only thing we've not, you know, gone into yet. Wow. Well, in terms of, you know, jackets and tops and all that. Shirts. Well, will, it, will it spell your style? Or would you um, pretty much, for? yes, yes. Yeah. Um, not my style, but, you know, style that... Uh, Waistcoats, like shirts. That work with me, yeah. <laughs> well, no doubt. I mean, most times when... I think people are always guilty sometimes okay. of putting out things they don't represent. I mean, if I put out a snapback line, everybody knows, if you've known Jimmy Jackson's probably for like forever mm -hmm. you always know that i wear i wear caps a lot a i wear snap yeah. bags especially you know so mm -hmm. i mean i'm you know an authority in that in i that can line. tell you this mm -hmm. is good this is you know but how um, can we get one do oh, they, um, they, um for now you can order online you know okay. you know through okay. you know Okay, amazing. Yeah. We'd, we'd look out for that. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to rock one on the show well, Definitely, why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Jeannie Jack, um, you happen to be one of Africa's best DJs, and you have a large following on social media, mm. real life. People follow you and want to know what you're up to. Yeah. How were you able to give back and then carry everyone along with you? Um, first of all, I mean, there are several ways to give back. Um, you know, I mentored and have uh, have proteges that you know div boys I've just picked from nowhere mm -hmm. that are you know top DJs across the world right now. Wow! You know, and they're pretty much like you say breadwinners for a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. that's giving back and stuff. Wow! So giving back will be okay. How you support you know foundations, mm -hmm. orphanages, and all that as well. Mm -hmm. And I do a lot of that, but I don't take cameras around when I do it because. <laughs> Um, you know, from my own belief, I think the Pharisees are the ones that make that much noise. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people. I will give you an example. I've seen someone that have gone to donate two hundred and fifty thousand naira to an orphanage, mm -hmm. and the entourage and the uh, the crew that went with it. The cost of taking those people along mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wouldn't have been less than half a million. Oh, so that's stupid. Oh, wow. And I really don't think most times when you do things, I mean, do it because you're doing it for, you know, people do it for. Out sake a lot of times yeah, now, you know, so I'm not one of those, oh, okay. you know, okay. call me old school if you want to, but <laughs> you know, I don't scream, oh, I just give, yeah. you know, but I do a lot of that. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Well, it's good to know, it's very good to know. All right, guys, we're going to the next segment of the show, which is called the video of the day. We'll be right back. Enjoy. <laughs> you get to give us full meanings of social media aberrations and slangs. Hmm. That's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> easy. All right, cool. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, we'll go now. IDK. I don't know. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, IMO. IMO. Emo states. I am all it means in my opinion. In my opinion. I was yeah. going to say that. But Are you what? Right? Are that. you I'm really good? I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> I was going to say in my... I didn't... No. Oh, I was trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. well. You did well then. It's, it's It means in my opinion. Okay. Okay, ASAP. As soon as possible. That's, That's like stop. forever, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's been there from way back. You know. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. FYI. For your information. For your information. You mm. got that right. Yes. You got that right. You're doing well. Mm. Like a G. Oh, oh. You oh, know. Oh. Yeah. That might be nicer. <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble. I'm yeah, not. Right, man. No. Oh it's good that I'm not your boyfriend. So you have to, you know, you're flirting with just like, ah, oh, no, what could you do again? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Okay, BRB. The last one. Be right back. Be right back. You did really well. Thank you. So well. I mean, you were able to answer um, at least half of the questions. More than half. Yeah, more than I only half. missed one or two. One or two. That's so good. Yeah. That is so... You can see, it's not, not just exactly a cool DJ Jimmy Jack. Yeah. He's a smart, cool DJ Jimmy Jack. Maybe you should A smart that. Master J. Mm -hmm. You should put that somewhere, like yeah. in the middle of your name, like mm -hmm. Master Smart J. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Okay, so while we roll <laughs> and keep being gangster, we're going to go on a short break. And when we come back, it'll be time for the nasty comments segment. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Trending. It is time for the nasty comment segment 
where we get to see the nasty things the fans have left for our guests <laughs> on social media. I like to call them fans that just you know, <laughs> they love you, but they're not sure. Yeah, like, okay, yeah. let's just say something to get his attention. Yeah. So please don't take any of the things. All right, right, cool. Yes, I'm going to give it to you to read All right. and react to them. Yeah. Mm. Nasty coming. Tommy Udu. They call you number one DJ in Africa, yet you can't beat international standard. How is that possible? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know what your international standard means. <laughs> I've played everywhere across the world. I've, be, I've been to Asia, America, Europe, and I've moved the crowd. And I'm talking thousands, like stadium size. What's up? I don't even understand what you're saying. So, <laughs> but it's good. I mean, we'll step it up a bit more. I yeah, mean, exactly. it's, um, you know, it's important that we take note of that. Um, sexy baby baby, don't you think you're too old to be a DJ? Go do business or something. I was waiting for some comment like this. And I, like, <laughs> I like that. So okay. because it's going to make me address certain things. Exactly. Well. Um, first of all, I'm in my 40s. Okay. You know, and if you look at DJ trends generally worldwide, I mean, if you look at maybe like top 10 DJs in every zone, mm -hmm. you will find a lot of people in that bracket. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's Guetta, if it's um, Funk Master Flex, mm -hmm. if it's, uh, you know, TSO, mm -hmm. you know, these are top DJs across yes. the world, and they're, they're in that age bracket. Yes. And then you look at it, DJing comes with experience. True. If somebody's going to have a 40th birthday, a, 40, a guy that is having a 40th birthday probably wants a whole lot of throwbacks. Mm. So you need a DJ that understands no, that exactly. thing. So you're not going to get it. I mean, someone that wasn't existing or was born about that time. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, it comes with experience. And plus, there are young DJs that have taken this thing as career. They need to be able to see that you can actually do it for run. a long while. Mm -hmm. You understand? So mm -hmm. if you pause it, it's only in Nigeria that people think you need to do something and pause it. Resign. Particular, you exactly. know, except you stop delivering. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, and that hasn't got anything to do with age. I've seen people get out of anything because they're not meeting up to the standard. Mm. I've not had a bad day as a DJ in the last 15 years. Amazing. I mean, there's, nobody, there's, no, there's nobody that would say I was at a Jimmy Jad gig and the music was, was terrible. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? So that means I'm killing it. I'm in tune with music. Like I've never been on break. Mm. I've been, I'm in tune with music from the from the 80s, 90s, the 2000s, you know. And right now, I'm, you know, I, I, I download music like every second. Wow. You know, so I'm like, if you're looking for the true definition of mm -hmm. a DJ that can handle it all through. Call on the cool, so smart DJ Jimmy Jack. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I never think anything yeah. has to do with age yeah. anyway. It's as far as you deliver. Exactly. And you are, I mean, if you if you look and say age, then that means you're telling the young guys getting into it that you only have a short while. To do it and then leave. You know. So true. Oh, my God. You're so... That, uh, cool, <laughs> smart DJ Jimmy Jack. That should be the name. I'm smart. Mm -hmm. I'm loyal. Mm. That's my money. <laughs> Send me your... <laughs> yeah, <don't need> <laughs> well, thank you so much yeah, sir, for yeah. coming on the show. It was a show. pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yes. Before you go, I'd like you to do some, just speak some rhymes as a rapper. That's nah. Like I like to wait. I will give nah. you the beats. That's no. Not, that's not going to happen. Mm. I haven't even written anything in. I oh, was right. a rapper before I became a DJ. That's age. I like that. But I'm sure you can do something, though. Just one, like, two-liner or three. Would you say no to Nancy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I never expected it. <laughs> I was like, yo, <laughs> you hit me on a wall. Really? I'm still a DJ right now. I'm, I'm okay. more comfortable with that. Okay. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I'm sure sometime when I bring you on the show next time, you probably will have something yeah, for me. Yeah, because I just don't want to do other people's lines. So. Yeah. Sure. Have, left next time I'm coming, I'll just, you know, write something. Some Amazing. Coming. I'll be expecting yeah. that. I'll have to bring you back very soon. But I'll be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure you come back soon. Thank you so much uh, for coming pleasure, on the show. Man. It was Thanks. so good having you here. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to check out the top five designer belts right about now. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, that is unfortunately all we can take on this show. As you know, we had cool DJ Jamie Jacks, and uh, before I showed you the top five, um, I, I tried to get him to rap, but he said no. So, I'm going to rap for you guys, and we show you how it's done. That's all we can take on the show today. 
Make sure to join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at HipTV and on Instagram at Trend.HipTV. You can also follow me, Nancy, at Nancy Eastinger Official on Insta, Insta, Instagram. And you can check www.hiptv.tv. Oh, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. I hope so. Oh my God, how do you guys, rappers, how do you do this? It is, I will see you next time. Take care. God loves you. And I love you. Bye. <laughs>